are the liquid jewels that flow through Florida. They're home to mullet, manatees, and even mermaids. They are Florida's springs, and they need our help. Over time, these natural treasures have become threatened by human activities, climate change, and other factors. But there are solutions and steps we can all take to restore them. More than 1,000 springs flow in the state of Florida. Within the Southwest Florida Water Management District, there are more than 150 springs. The springs and their associated rivers and bays have tremendous ecological value and are home to countless plants and animals. Spring vents are windows into the aquifer, the major source of our drinking water. Some ways people enjoy their beauty are by snorkeling, scuba diving, and kayaking. Many come seeking a glance of the spring's most famous seasonal resident, the manatee. That interest translates to a large economic impact for the small communities that surround these systems. Springs generate about 900 jobs locally. A spring is a natural opening in the ground where water flows directly from the aquifer to the Earth's surface. The springs form when groundwater is under pressure and flows up through an opening called a spring vent, supplying flow to a river or other water body. Spring vents are part of a much larger system called a spring shed, or the land area that contributes water to a spring. You can live many miles away from a spring and still have an impact on its spring shed. Over a century, these complex spring-fed systems have faced a variety of challenges. Some of the major challenges that our springs are facing right now include decreases in flow, increased salinity. We've also seen habitat loss and nutrient enrichment. Springs district-wide have experienced a 20% decrease in discharge during the past 50 years. Groundwater withdrawals account for some of the decrease, but the major factor is from a steady decline in rainfall since the 1960s. Springs discharge is directly related to rainfall. The more rainfall you have, the more flow out of the springs. The less rainfall, the less flow out of the springs. The district is the leading scientific agency on springs within its region which comes from decades of research and development, pilot projects, and complex groundwater models. The district recently formed the Springs team, and it's a group of dedicated scientists and engineers, some of which have been working in spring systems for well over a decade. The goal of the team is to restore these systems by improving the water clarity and quality, and also by improving habitat. Our team takes an ecosystem level approach, which means that we look for projects throughout the entire system to improve all aspects of these systems. The district uses many techniques to tackle challenges the springs are facing. One of the areas where the district can make the biggest impact is restoration. That's achieved through a variety of methods like habitat and shoreline restoration, sediment removal projects, and sinkhole cleanups. The unique nature of these springs and the challenges that they face require us to think outside the box. We're using new techniques, new technologies, and really pushing the outside of the envelope. I grew up in Florida, and these springs are part of my life. They're part of who I am. And when I come to these springs, uh, there's nothing like it anywhere in the world. They are unique systems, and I'm here to make them better. Join us in the community effort to restore our springs. Find out how you can help by visiting watermatters.org slash springs.